नमस्कार वेलकम टू डेली वेदर ब्रीफिंग ऑफ इंडिया मेट्रोलॉजिकल डिपार्टमेंट इफ टुडे द मैक्सिमम टेंपरेचर ऑफ 40 डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड ऑफ आर अबव वाज ऑब्जर्वड ओवर द वेस्ट राजस्थान मराठवाड़ा विदर्भा गुजरात स्टेट तेलंगाना रायलसीमा वेस्ट मध्य प्रदेश एंड मध्य महाराष्ट्र एंड इफ टुडे द सीवियर हीट वेव कंडीशंस वर आल्सो ऑब्जर्वड ओवर मोस्ट पार्ट्स ऑफ द वेस्ट राजस्थान मेनी पार्ट्स ऑफ हिमाचल प्रदेश some parts of jammu division and heat wave conditions over saurashtra and kutch vidarbha gujarat region and west madhya pradesh was observed today's main highlight one is the heat wave conditions over the rajasthan west madhya pradesh vidarbha gujarat state in telangana and another one is the low pressure area over the bay of bengal so if we look into the maximum temperature uh, the maximum temperature uh, will not change significantly during next 24 hour over most parts of the northwest india central india as well as the west india and after the 24 hour the maximum temperature will fall by 2 to 3 degree centigrade over the region and because of that the heat wave conditions very likely to prevail in isolated two pockets over rajasthan west madhya pradesh vidarbha during next two days and over the gujarat telangana during next 24 hours and in the west rajasthan isolated severe heat wave conditions are also likely on today and the uh, with regard to the low pressure uh, area so the steadiest low pressure area over the central parts of southeast bay of bengal moved east northeast towards uh, and lay centered on today morning over the southeast bay of bengal and adjoining south andaman sea and adjoining east equatorial indian ocean this low pressure area will likely to become well marked low pressure area Uh, by 19th of march morning and this well marked low pressure area uh, will move northwards along and of andaman and nicobar islands intensify into a depression by morning of 20th and thereafter it will intensify into a cyclonic storm on 21st of march after that this system is likely to move nearly north north eastwards uh, towards the bangladesh and north myanmar coast around the morning of 22nd This is the forecast track of this low pressure area over the southeast bay of Bengal. So, which can be seen, the system is moving towards the North Myanmar coast across the Andaman and Nicobar Island. And because of this system, there will be isolated heavy rainfall over the Nicobar Island and today, and there will be the heavy to very heavy rainfall at a few places over Andaman and Nicobar Island on tomorrow, and there will be the light rainfall at most places and heavy to very heavy rainfall at a few places and extremely heavy rain at isolated places over and one islands on 20th of march and on the 21st of march there will be the isolated heavy rainfall over and one islands and there also will be the sea condition will be rough over southeast bay of bengal and south and one sea on 18th march sea condition will be rough to very rough over south and one sea at joining southeast bay of bengal during 19th march and very rough on 20th march sea condition will be high over andaman sea southeast and adjoining east central bay of bengal and 21st and over the east central and adjoining southeast and northeast bay of bengal and northern parts of the andaman sea on 22nd of march because of this the fishermen are advised not to venture into the southeast bay of bengal during 18th to 21st of march into the andaman sea and along and of andaman and nicobar island during 18th to 22nd of march over the east central area bay of bengal on 21st and 22nd and over the north east bay of bengal on 22nd of march this fisherman warning are given in this shaded form uh, in this uh, in this picture uh, which is given in the graphical form and if you look into the forecast for the other part of the country because of the western disturbance there will be the isolated to scattered rain for the snowfall over the jammu kashmir himachal and uttarakhand from today night and which will continue till 21st of march and a thunderstorm and lightning activity are also possible over the region on 19th and 20th and isolated hail storm activity are also likely over uttarakhand on 19th of march in the south peninsula india there will be the light isolated rainfall over the kerala and tamil nadu coastal and south interior karnataka during next 5 days over the rail sima and northern parts of the interior karnataka during 20th to 22nd of march and over the coastal andhra pradesh in telangana on 21st and 22nd of march except those areas weather will be mainly dry over remaining parts of the country during next 5 days this is the weather warning in the color coded graphical form because of the current prevailing heat wave conditions over the parts of northwest india 
and at joining Central India, we have given the yellow color warning for the Rajasthan for next two days, for the West Madhya Pradesh and Bidarwa for the next two days, and over the Telangana and Gujarat state for next 24 hours. And in the uh, yellow color warning, because of the thunderstorm and lightning are also given for Jammu Kashmir, Himachal and Uttarakhand for 19th and 20th of March. And for the Andaman and Nicobar, there is a yellow color warning given for 18th, orange color warning is given for the 19th, and red color warning is given for the 20th of March. And again, the yellow color warning for 21st of March for Andaman and Nicobar Islands. You can follow us on our IMD website, follow us on our Facebook page, our Twitter page, and our Instagram page, and our YouTube channel for more detailed weather information. Thank you.